Our poster is titled Going Beyond the Point Neuron, Active Dendrites and Sparse Representations for Continual Learning by Karen Grewal, Jeremy Forrest, and Subhata Ahmad from Numenta. Our project is about continual learning, which is the process of learning new tasks without forgetting previously learned ones. For example, children learn to ride bicycles and later in life learn to drive cars, but they don't forget how to ride bikes as a consequence. Artificial neural networks that aim to learn continually use point neurons, which abstract away many details of real neurons in the brain. When learning with backpropagation, all parameters in the network are changed and thus the network suffers from catastrophic forgetting. We try to incorporate properties of active dendrites in our model which are thought to help with continual learning in the brain. The first aspect of our model are active dendrites themselves. Pyramidal cells have many dendritic segments which each act as independent pattern recognizers and can depolarize the soma. In our model on the right, we augment point neurons with multiple dendritic segments that each receive a context signal and affect the neuron's activity, turning it on or off. The second aspect of our model is sparsity. We apply a k-winner-take-all function which selects the top k-ranked neurons in a hidden layer and drops all others to zero. We hope this activates sparse subnetworks of neurons that can each learn different tasks with minimal interference. We tested our active dendrite networks on permuted MNIST, and our models are competitive with context-dependent gating, or XDG, a benchmark method for continual learning. Furthermore, we showed sparse representations are important as the network is more prone to forgetting without them. An empirical analysis shows the hidden units in our active dendrite networks are being modulated by dendritic segments, and different subpopulations of neurons become active for different tasks. Our poster session is number 104 on Sunday, July 4th from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and we're looking forward to seeing you there. Thanks for listening.